Hey guys, it's Julia. Say, I am going live just to show you some quick tips on a really healthy recipe to make for the holidays. If you want to impress somebody, it takes a little bit of extra effort, really not that much. It really, um, I'll show you, you just need some fresh ingredients for this one. Um, you need some fresh sage, which I had a hard time finding, or Rob had a harder time finding for me. Um, he ran around to a couple grocery stores. I'm sure they have it now uh, because Thanksgiving is coming up and then fresh rosemary. So if you've never done fresh sage or fresh rosemary, it comes like this. And I already took the, the rosemary off here, but you basically just go backwards with your hands and kind of shred it off. So you just have like these little small little pieces of the rosemary and then take the, um, you know, the leaves from the sage. So when I first started cooking, I had no idea that I had to do that. And I ended up with a bunch of woody pieces um, in my rosemary. So, and it still worked, I just couldn't really eat it. So what you're gonna do is you are going to, can you give me a paper towel? Um, you're going to not burn your Pam like I just did. So um, basically you start out with a, a um, warmer pan, but this burner always gets like super hot for me and I'm talking so I'm not paying attention. So I would say start out with a pan and use Pam, um, it gets down a little bit on here. We'll see if I can not set myself on fire using the fume. Um, and you're going to take the chopped um, fresher that you have and you're just going to saute them for about a minute. So you're just going to saute it for about a minute, preferably with a spatula that does not melt. That one will melt. Um, make it a little wood thing. And then you're going to take, I took fresh um, garlic chopped it up so like four cloves of garlic and you are going to use something that's not going to uh, basically burn so you're going to saute this for you know about a minute just until it gets a little bit cooked what are you guys cooking today anything fabulous um, Rob thinks that he's leaving today, so I'm really enjoying the cooking of this. This takes, this, <laughs> this takes about an hour and a half to cook, like once you start uh, getting the pork tenderloins in here. So I would just saute this just a little bit to get the uh, flavor of the garlic in here. And then we went to Von Hansen's and we got some pork tenderloin um, that is really pretty delicious and natural. So it's a natural pork, ten pork tenderloin. It's cool. You just talk off straight. Sorry. Um, it doesn't have like all the salt and stuff that's in there. Um, so sometimes when you buy your pork, just turn it over and make sure it doesn't have like a whole bunch of like sulfites or just anything that's in there. So this is like a natural pork tenderloin. We gotta put that one in the freezer yeah. for later. I didn't realize how much we were getting. So this is two pounds of pork tenderloin, or you can get a pork loin, um, one whole pork loin for two pounds. And then what you're gonna do is you are going to, after you cook this a little bit, you're going to make it in the um, kind of shape of the pork tenderloins. And you are going to, and if you wanna find a lid for that for me too, you're just going to lay them on top of this. I don't think I need it yet, quite yet. But. So you're going to cook it. That's not it. That's not it. Um, so you're going to lay it on top of there and then cook it for five minutes aside. So I'm going to show you the after and just tell you a little bit about um, what's in this. So people get kind of shocked. Um, but I don't know if people didn't know this, but if you use wine in a recipe, it cooks out. Um, so the alcohol cooks out. So don't freak out about it. But it does leave the flavor um, in there. This recipe, if you want to replace it with chicken broth, it'll save you some calories, like 52 calories a serving. Um, and then this does have heavy whipping cream in it, but it makes like a whole bunch of servings. So you know, as long as you use things in um, smaller amounts, this totally makes uh, a recipe that would be, you know, for our program, our fat burn program for a serving at like five ounces. So. You're basically, everything Everything that I post on my page, I've double and triple checked so you know that it's not gonna knock you out of fat burn. So as long as you have that done, um, you are in it to win it. So this is gonna be a beautiful recipe. I've got children all over the place right now looking for something. 
So <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna do this for five minutes on each side. Flip it over, um, kind of try to take the, if anything sticks to this, just kind of scrape them off and put it underneath it. Um, then you're gonna take the pork out and you're going to deglaze the pan with um, the wine, a little bit of the wine. And we're just gonna do that and it's just gonna be delicious. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this for an hour and a half um, in that sauce. We're gonna cover it with a tight fitting lid. And if you don't have something with tight fitting, I would say um, make sure that you do. So you can't really do this in lip unless you have like a tight fitting lid. So put it on top um, and every 20 minutes for an hour and a half, you're just gonna keep flipping it over. And then we're gonna make the sauce after that with the, um, with the glaze in the pan. So I'll have all the directions on here, maybe I'll take a little video. And then what I do is I would serve it with um, maybe a serving of mushrooms, like sauteed mushrooms. Um, don't saute your mushrooms in a bunch of oil though, because this is all the, the healthy fat that you need. Just um, saute the mushrooms out by themselves and use it in the sauce, because this makes a delicious sauce. What are you guys looking for? Yeah, <laughs> Anyway, so I will um, see who hurt themselves, and <laughs> I'll show you the finished product of the recipe later on. Bye.